I'm starting to like Affinity Photo more and more. Compared to Photoshop, I find it much more useful for processing rendered stills. Uh, let me quickly show you why. As we can see, I'm in Blender here and I've rendered out a 32-bit, just load it up, 32-bit float multi-layer still. And I have also switched on all of the kind of passes I feel that would be relevant. Now, I like the look of the render here, but I'd, I just want to do a few little tweaks. So let's open Affinity Photo and load up the file. As we can see from the layers panel here, we are presented with all of the passes I checked in Blender. Uh, this genuinely took me by surprise um, because I'm just not used to um, image editing app being able to interpret multi EXRs. Let's just open Photoshop here as a quick comparison. Okay, open up the same file as alpha channel. Okay, <laughs> uh, there's not much we can do with that, I suppose. Um, and as you can see, while we're in here as well, we are in 32-bit mode, and a lot of the adjustment layers aren't available. We're kind of restricted to doing very simple things. Okay, let's jump back into Affinity Photo. Now, as we can see from the image presented here, not everything is all rosy, as this looks pretty horrible. It looks super saturated and super contrasty. The kind of look that you get from interpreting a linear image incorrectly. Now back in Blender, in the color management section, I have my display devices sRGB and my color transform as Filmic, so I get those really nice um, highlight roll-offs. I uh, also have base contrast here as well, which is, I believe, pretty much the same as none in terms of filtering and creating a look. Um, but we can mimic that also in Affinity Photo because it takes advantage of the open color IO config and setup files. I'll just quickly show you how to do that. If we go to File, sorry, Edit Preferences, head into Color, and on Open Color IO configuration file, hit Select. And here we can navigate to our Blender directories, or through our Blender directories, to Data File, Color Management, and config.ocio. And you hit Close. I, I already have done it here, but if you hit Close, it'll prompt you to restart the applications to, to take advantage of that config, of which I already have done. And now we can add an adjustment layer called OCIO and choose our input color space to linear and our destination color space to filmic sRGB and BAM let's just compare it that is that is if not exactly the same then incredibly similar now this stock functionality is is a boon for uh, processing 3D renders and also the adjustment layers all stay present within the 32-bit mode so you can, can tweak curves, hue, saturation, all that kind of stuff without leaving 32-bit mode. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to keep in touch, probably the best place would be my Twitter. Thanks very much for watching.